you commonly hear the phrase it takes money to make money but this is no it's true I want to emphasize this because in this video I'm going to talk about Apple stock and there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be like well it take you got to have money in order to make money but what I found in the workplace is the biggest competitive advantage is intelligence and hard work so if you work hard and you're intelligent you're able to invest your money in things like I'm about to mention so if you had invested a thousand dollars 40 years ago in Apple stock you would be a multi-millionaire so first of all Apple stock is $148.60 right now so obviously Apple stocks done some splits but according to what the split is now is what I'm basing the prices off of Apple stock because they do a lot of splits because it's keep going up they just don't want it to seem like it's too expensive they want the average person to be able to invest in it so if you invested a thousand dollars in 2011 right now you would have now it would have gone up 939 percent the Apple stock would be fourteen dollars and thirty cents compared to one hundred forty eight dollars and sixty cents so that's about a thousand percent so the thousand dollars if you had just invested a thousand ten years ago it'd be nine thousand three hundred ninety dollars and most people probably that follow my channel probably have would have had the ability to invest that but you just have to know you know you never know with the stock market is risky and you do never know so I understand you you know you never know and that's something I want to emphasize too but uh, it's kind of cool to think about anyways so 20 years ago this is where things get kind of crazy uh, 20 years ago Apple stock traded at 33 cents a share that was in 2001 I would have been 10 years old and it went up for 43,605 uh, percent from 20 years if you had invested a thousand dollars so that the thousand dollars that you had invested would have been four hundred thirty six thousand dollars today uh, so 30 years ago it would have share traded Apple stock traded at 19 cents and I just wanted to update you right now it's at 148 thousand sixty cents so that 19 cents went up over 78 thousand percent in 30 years that's the year I was born 1991 and uh, if somebody had given me a thousand dollars of Apple stock then uh, I would have had seven hundred eighty one thousand dollars today uh, so that's pretty good uh, 30 years ago and uh, 40 years ago it was 1981 I wasn't born yet but my parents could have invested you know a thousand dollars but granted there are a lot of other tech companies that were developing that how do you know Apple stock was the one who's going to do great uh, so 40 years ago it was five cents a share so if you would have invested a thousand dollars 40 years ago if you were able to and alive that'd be worth two million nine hundred seventy one thousand dollars it went up two hundred and ninety seven thousand percent in 40 years and that's passive income because they do pay a dividend so it's something easy that you can do on the side and it doesn't take much work at all so I'm just making this video to you know kind of motivate people to start investing in the stock market it's a great way to make money it doesn't take much obviously if you invest in the right company but finding the right company it can be difficult so the best stock that I want to mention that I've, I've just invested in about a year ago uh, it's not really new but keep in mind that Apple stock has a two trillion dollar market cap this stock has a 200 billion dollar market cap so that's a big big difference right there it's called IBM and uh, they're a technical company as well so they've done well over the past few years and uh, yeah, I'm happy that I invested in them. So uh, that's one of the stocks that I really like. A few more are like McDonald's and Walmart and Amazon. But uh, I also wanted to make this video because a lot of people have the ideology that the more you get is the happier you will be. 
Well, in the United States and a lot of the Western world, they have serious deficits that deficit spending is spent to help people who are disadvantaged. Uh, and, you know, that's a debatable topic because printing out money, it helps some people in the short term. It helps the big companies in the long term. And uh, really, you know, we have a lot of poverty in this country and a lot of really wealthy people. Uh, I don't think that's the way it should be. I think it's primarily because of the entitlement mentality of the people due to quantitative easing, essentially printing out more money that people never worked for and them just blowing it. So anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't want to get on too much of a tangent, but I felt it was necessary. So I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.